Hello, um, welcome again to another day of classes. Today we're going to be continuing with the Interchange Level one, level 2 5th edition book, the blue book. And today we're going to be starting with the Unit 5. This uh, vocabulary that we're going to be seeing, the language summary, as always, this one was prepared by Jose Rodriguez. Uh, this wasn't by Minerva Pons. So we need to thank him for this one. Okay, as always, we're going to be starting with the vocabulary for this lesson. So let's go right in. Let's see some nouns. Activities. Bike tour. It's uh, basically a tour with bikes. Oh my goodness, who would have thought? Okay, but the bike tour is like uh, a trip or a specific route that you take going on a bike with a couple of people. Okay, that is a bike tour. Camping. It's when you go to the forest or something like that to sleep like on the floor with uh, tents and stuff. That is camping. A cruise. A cruise is a big boat used to travel to another, maybe maybe another country or someplace in, in, in the water. But at the same time, it's like a resort, okay? So you have a lot of different... Uh, things to be entertained, like um, maybe you even have pools inside of the same boat where you have a lot of different entertainment and stuff, okay? That's a cruise. Eat at stales. Stales are these, that are specific uh, blocks or locations where you can eat, okay? So you eat at stales. They usually put them on festivals or things like that. To hang out. When you hang out with friends, it's when you go to a place to talk and chit chat about all sorts of stuff, to catch up with life and stuff, okay? Hula. Hula is a type of Hawaiian dance when you move your hips and your uh, arms at the same time, going like if it were um, flows of water, like waves of water. Rafting. When you go rafting is when you go on a boat with multiple people and with different type of this this a tool used to move you in the water and going through the rafts. The rafts are the like rapids, uh, currents of water, where the water goes like this. You see, it's going like really, really fast. Sightseeing. A sight sightseeing is when you start seeing a sight. Okay, it's really uh, redundant, but what this means is when you're looking at beautiful views, okay? Sing. This is singing, okay? Stargazing. It's when you look up to the stars, okay? Surfing. It's the type of sport where you take a board and you surf in the waves, okay? You mount the waves. Take the train. When you take the train, is when you, you know, you go inside of a train to get to another place. Fair. Fair, it's the money that you pay for a, a public transportation. You have fare for the train, you have fare for cars, etc. Government. The government are the people that uh, make the rules or govern that they manage the country that you're living in. Let's see some other nouns. Accommodations. Accommodations are things to make you be to make you feel comfortable. Maybe your accommodation can be this uh, this room. Okay. ATM card. You know the ATM, the automatic teller machines, the machine that you use to get money. Uh, but to use it, you need the, one of these cards. Usually a debit or credit card. A brochure. A brochure. It's uh, like a triptych, uh, a piece of information in a paper to t to inform you about something. Carry on bag. Hmm, this is not a carry on bag. This is more like a trailer. But as long as I know, a carry on bag is the type of bag that you have within yourself that you can take on your with your hands to any place. Okay. A catamaran. A catamaran is this type of boat. Condition. A condition is a specific type of way that something needs to be. For example, the condition of uh, this specific survey or something can be excellent, or it can be good, or it can be average, or it can be poor. Okay. 
copy. When you copy is when you put the same thing on two different places. Credit card. These are credit cards. The difference between the credit cards and the debit cards is that with debit cards, you can only use the money that you already have on a bank account. But with a credit card, you can use all of the money that they let you use, but then you need to pay for it. It's like a loan. Danger. Okay, something danger, the danger or something dangerous is something that can uh, make you feel like really bad. It can be detrimental to your health, you can die or something like that. That is dangerous. Okay, a document. This is a document. Things related to any type of information about a service, about your life or whatever. Okay, a double room. A double room. It's a room that is double, that is made for two different people, okay? First aid kit is a kit that has all of the things for some injuries that you may have. Maybe if you cut yourself, you can find some alcohol, some band-aids, and etc. Okay? Health. Health is everything related to your personal um, thing, uh, like your personal life, like if you're feeling okay or bad, if you have a disease or if you're healthy, okay? It, ID or identification, it's the specific, um, the specific documentation that you have where you have all of your information, like a picture of you, your name, your, your born date, etc. A lodge. A lodge is a house that is on the woods, okay? It's in a forest. Medication. Medication it's are the pills and medicines that you take when you are sick. Luggage. Luggage is the are the bags that you use to travel, okay? This is your luggage. Money belt. This is this a specific belt that have pockets so you can put your money or credit cards, some things like that. Opportunity. An opportunity is when you have it's when you have a, a specific moment where you can have something really good for you. For example, if you are studying medicine and you have the opportunity to go to Spain to study a, a, a specialty or something like that, that is an opportunity, okay? Plane ticket. Is, uh, these are the tickets that you need to have in order to go to another country on a plane. A reindeer. This is this animal. A reindeer is this animal. Rental. When something is for rental, you're getting it for a moment, okay? It's not gonna be yours for all the time. You're gonna have it for a specific amount of time that you talk with the person that you rent it to, okay? Safety. Safety is when you can be sure that nothing bad is gonna happen to your health. For example, if you're working in a construction site, for safety, you need a helmet and you also need gloves, okay? Sandals. These are sandals. Single room. It's like the double room, but only for one person or one pair of people, okay? A specialty. A specialty. A specialty. And a specialty is basically with medicine. Uh, that each one of these person uh, works with a specific skill to be better at. For example, he can be uh, um, for example he can be a doctor for the lungs, or maybe he can be a dentist, and maybe she can be um, a psychologist. Each one of them have a specific special specialty. Okay, stall. And a stall is a place where you can buy different type of food, okay? Or different things, actually, not only food. A suitcase. This is a suitcase. Surfboard. This is the board that you use to surf. Swimsuit is the suit for swimming, okay? Swimsuit. Tap. Tap, or usually when we say tap water, it's the water that comes from here, the top. This is the top. Vaccination. It's what we have and what we need right now for, for the COVID-19. Uh, vaccination is basically a type of medicine that you put in your system 
So um, uh, disease doesn't affect you, okay? You can be vaccinated for rabbit, for example. Visa, okay? This is uh, the type of um, the company that um, it's related with all of the things uh, related to traveling and credit cards and stuff. Wildlife. It's life in the wild. Wildlife is all of the different nature that are that is not tame, that you cannot control it. All of these felines are part of the wildlife. Let's see some adjectives. Beachfront. It's the front of the beach. Checked. Something that is checked is when you use this symbol to say that it's okay. Excited. When someone is excited, when they are feeling really good and happy about something. Okay. Foreign. Foreign is something that is not from your country. Anything that is not from your country is foreign. Necessary. Something necessary is something that you need yes or yes. For example, you can say that pl uh, water is necessary for plants. Okay. Pleasant. Pleasant is something that is good and relaxing and that you feel that it's great for you. Round trip. A round trip, it means, you know, round like a circle. It's when you go to a place, but then you come back to your home. That is a round trip. Going in a circle, going to the place and then come back. Duty free. Something that is duty free is that you don't need to work on it. For example, after you get, I don't know, the oranges, you can eat it right away. You don't need to cook it. Verbs. Let's see some verbs. Some model verbs. Here we have the can, could, uh, should, must, have, to, might. But this is going to be seen in another moment, okay? Avoid. When you avoid something is when you try not to get in front of the thing or to do the thing that you don't want, okay? For example, you can avoid uh, doing classes because you don't, you don't want to study or something. Bring back. When you bring back something, it's when something was away. You take it and you come back with it. So you bring it back. Hang out. When you hang out, as we said before, it's when you're with different uh, people. You, you talk about your life and stuff. Pick someone up. When you pick someone up is when you, in your car, go to the place where a person lives and you take it with you. Rent. When you rent something, it's when you are letting other people live there. Okay, but it's not gonna be their thing forever. It's just that you're letting them be there for a moment. Okay, sunbathe. When you sunbathe, is when you let the sun touch you a lot, so you can be a little bit more browner or something. Okay, but okay, very good. Now let's go back to the book. This one, uh, this time we don't have as much vocabulary as the other time, but that's okay. And for today, we have the unit five, hit the road. And in this lesson, we will be talking about, you know, discuss vacation and travel plans. And to start, we're going to be seeing the snapshot. What did you like to do on vacation? Hmm, interesting. So we can have take a fun trip, discover something new, stay home, enjoy nature. We can also uh, visit a foreign country, travel in my own country, go to a music festival, take a photography course, hang out, hang out with friends, host a family reunion, go camping, relax at the beach. All of these things, you can be doing it on vacations. These are vacation activities. Very good. Here we have a conversation. I'll guess I'll just stay home. Now, let's listen to both parts and answer the second part, the part B. Where are they going to stay and how will they get there? And something to pay close attention here is how sometimes they are using going to for the future, but sometimes they are using will for the future. This is something that we're going to be talking about today on grammar. So let's pay, let's pay close attention to how they are using this uh, grammar. And then we're going to be checking on the grammar, okay? But for now, let's listen to the part A and the part B. And answer the questions of the part B. Where are they going to stay and how will they get there, okay? So, let's listen. Unit 5. Hit the road. Page 30. 
Exercise 2. Conversation. I guess I'll just stay home. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to snorkel, so maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Page 30. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, there's a small hotel near the beach where we can stay. I stayed there last year, and it's very nice, clean, and not too expensive. Do you think they still have vacancies? They probably have at least one room available. We can share a room and save some money. Sounds good. And when are we going to go? There is a bus that leaves at 6 o'clock in the morning. Is that too early for you? That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, very good. I hope that you found the answers for today's two questions. But if not, you can go back in the video and listen again. Okay, so let's see. So where are they going to stay? They are going to stay at a hotel near the beach. Really interesting. And how will they get there? They will get there by bus. Very good, very good. Now, let's go right away to the grammar focus for today. It's going to be about future with be going to and will. What are the difference between these two? Okay, there is a specific difference between these two, but let's see some different things that can, be, that can have, okay? So, will versus going to. Will can be used to express future actions decided at the moment of speaking, okay? Immediate decisions. I will have a salad and the fish, okay? It's something that you think about just right now. But the difference with going to is that you express future plans decided before the moment of speaking. So, will is exactly in the moment that you're talking about the future, like, oh, yes, I will do this. I will um, do my homework right now. You just decided that right now. But when you use going to, you have a prior plan. You already thought about that and you have the plan for that. For example, I am going to visit my aunt next Friday. You already planned it. Okay, so next Friday, you already think of how you will do the things, and that's why we use going to, okay? You also use will to express a prediction based on personal opinions or experience. It's like predictions without evidence, you know, it's like, eh, I think this will happen. I think United will win the game, or I think it will rain tomorrow. You, you see the, like, the clouds that are black or something, and you maybe think, Oh, it will it will rain tomorrow, but you are not sure. You're just having a prediction. But when you use going to, it is to express a prediction based on present evidence. Like, you see that things are going to happen. You know, you have evidence. Look at those black clouds. It is going to rain. If you just say, oh, I think it will rain tomorrow, you don't have evidence. You just are talking about what you think. But if you see black clouds and it's like really foggy and it's uh, it's really windy, you say, oh, it is it is going to rain, okay? We can use also will to express a future fact. The sun will rise tomorrow. It's a fact that is for the future. It will rise tomorrow. But we can also use going to to express something that is about to happen, okay? Get back. The bomb is going to explode, okay? And you can use both will and going to that can be used for making future predictions without having a real difference in meaning. I think it will be foggy tomorrow. I think it's going to be foggy tomorrow. At the end, both of them talk about the future, okay? But okay, let's see some other thing here, okay? So, will for rapid decision. I'm thirsty. I think I will buy a drink. 
okay? You just think about that, so you're gonna do it. For offer, that looks heavy. I will help you with it. For promise, don't worry, I won't tell anyone, okay? Threat, if you don't stop, I will tell your mother. Refusal, she won't listen to anything I say, okay? So we'll not. But going to is used for prior plans, things that you have thought before. Decision was made before the moment of speaking. I'm going to the beach next weekend with my friends. And also for evidence or signs, when there are signs that something is likely to happen. My stomach hurts a lot and I, I think I am going to throw up. Okay, it's 70 zero. They are going to win. Okay, you can use both will and going to, to for making predictions. Okay, it's use the difference that as we said before, will is for a rapid like you have no much evidence, but with going to you have evidence. Okay, very good. Now let's check the one on the book. Now it's gonna be way easier to understand. Okay, you use be going to plus verb. For plans you have decided on, things that you know that it's, are going to happen, you planned it. So, you can say, for example, what are you going to do? I'm going to relax at the beach. You already thought of that. We're going to go surfing every day. That is the plan. I'm not going to do anything special. You know that that's not going to happen. But, you use will with verb for possible plans before you have made a decision. Okay? It's something possible that you will do, but you haven't made the, your decision yet. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I will, or I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll take a cruise. I don't know. I think I'll go camping. I probably won't go anywhere, okay? So basically the difference is that with going to, you are sure about things, and with will, you're not sure, okay? Very good. Now here we have a... Uh, a couple of uh, two different conversations to be completed with will and going to. So I want you to take your time to complete both of them. Right here, you can see all of them. And after you take your time, we can check all of the answers to see if they are correct. Okay? So take your time. And when you finish, continue with the video, okay? Okay, so let's check your answers. Number one. Have you made any vacations plans? Well, I've decided on one thing. I'm going to take a bike tour. That's great. For how long? I'm going to be away for about a week. I need to take some time off. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I'll probably leave ar around the end of, the net of next month. And where are you going to go? I haven't thought about it yet. I guess I'll go down south. That sounds fun. Are you going to buy a new bicycle? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably won't buy one. I don't have enough money right now. I guess I'll rent one. Are you going to go with anyone? No, I need some time alone. I'm going to go. I'm going to travel by myself. Very good. And number two, what are your plans? For the holiday weekend, I'm going to visit my parents. What are you going to do there? Nothing much. I'm going to hang out with some old school friends and we'll probably have a barbecue on Sunday. Very good. That sounds like fun. When are you going to leave? I'm not sure yet. I'll probably leave on Friday night if I don't need to work on Saturday. Are you going to fly there? I wish I could, but it's too expensive. I guess I'll take the train. Are you going to go alone? Maybe my brother will go, too. He hasn't decided yet. Do you know when you are coming back? I think I'll come back on Monday. Good. Then we can have dinner together on Monday. Okay? Very good. If you have these answers, then everything that you had is correct. Very, very good. Okay, now let's continue for the last thing for today. That is a word power. Okay, you're gonna it's talk about it's about travel preparations. You're gonna complete the chart and and if you want, add one more word to each category. So you have these different words: ATM card, backpack, carry on bag, etc. 
Okay, so you're gonna be put it in the correct columns clothing, money, health, documents, luggage. Okay, so take your time to complete it. And when you finish, we're gonna check. Okay, okay, you finished. Let's check for clothing. We have hiking boots, sandals, swimsuit, and hat. For money, we have ATM card, cash, money belt, and a local currency. For health, we have first aid kit, medication, vaccination, and vitamins. For documents, we have passport, plane ticket, travel insurance, driver's license. Very good. And for luggage, we have backpack, carry-on bag, suitcase, and briefcase. Okay? Very good. Well, I hope that you liked this video. It's That's everything for today. On the next class, we're going to be finishing uh, the unit 5, and we're going to be talking about giving travel advice, okay? So I hope that you look forward to it, okay? See you on the next time. Bye.